And one of the questions, one of the most off questions I get from young people is, you know what, my Iman is just not doing too well. Like I have a dip in my Iman and I just don't feel it anymore. Or a lot of times people who start practicing Islam, they'll have this Iman high and they're doing really, really well. And then a time will come where, where they'll be like, you know, it just doesn't feel the same anymore. Or a lot of times reverts and converts will say, when I first became Muslim, it was the most amazing experience of my life. And I want that back. I want that experience back. And one of the first questions I ask these people is, how is your connection with Allah? How is your Qiyam al-Layl? When was the last time you got up in the middle of the night or in the last third of the night to pray to your Lord? And if the answer, answer usually is, well, I don't, I don't really do that. I mean, I just try to do my five daily prayers. I'm just happy if I can get that in. And I tell them, I say, listen, if you're cutting off your connection with Allah, how are you going to get better? You can't expect your Iman to just get fixed all of a sudden on its own. It's not going to happen. You have to take steps for you to become a better Muslim. You have to take steps to reach that level of Iman. And this is why the companions, they were in a constant state of ibadah and worship to Allah Azza wa Jal. And this is why they reached the level that they reached in their, in their Iman. It's because they never gave up. They were constantly worshiping Allah Azza wa Jal. Rabi'a radiallahu ta'ala an, he was one day with the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa and he brought the Prophet ﷺ some water for wudu. And the Prophet ﷺ saw that this companion, he had, he had something on his mind. So he says to him, he says, Ya Rabi'a, sal. He says, ask, ask what you want. He says, Ya Rasulullah, as'aluka murafaqatak fil jannah. He says, O oh, Messenger of Allah, I ask for your companionship in paradise. And the Prophet ﷺ says, Awa ghayra dhalik. He says, is there anything else that you want? He said, huwa dhak. He says, that's it, that's all I want. The Prophet ﷺ said to him, فَأَعِنِّي عَلَى نَفْسِكْ بِكَثْرَةِ السُّجُودِ He said, so help me help you by increasing in your sajda. Meaning if that's what you desire, you really desire from your life to be in paradise with the Prophet ﷺ that increase in this ibadah. Now the Prophet ﷺ could have given some long drawn out answer and say you have to do this and you have to do this and you have to go here and do this and we need to fix the community and we need to establish this and do all these kind of things. But the Prophet said, I'm told him one simple thing. He said, increase in your sajda. Meaning, get in touch with this prayer that Allah Azza wa has given us. Our sila, our connection with Allah Azza wa If we cut that off, then how do we ever expect to become better Muslims? It's like a, a person who's in the hospital and they have an IV in them. And they pull it out and they expect to get better. They expect to get fed. And that's just not going to happen. So if we, cut, if we cut that connection with Allah, meaning we stop praying, we stop seeking the help of Allah, then we're, we're never, there's no way to ever improve. There's no way to ever, ever get better.